and my last video slandering music, I got a lot of negative comments, which kind of saddened me because not because I was getting hate comments, like that's basically a given on this platform, right? But what saddened me was that everyone was giving points, like everyone was saying points that I completely like tore down in the video. And if they actually watched the video, then their point would have been disproven. So to anyone who's going to leave a negative comment, to anyone who is trying to, is trying to like argue with me, this is for you, okay? Stay to the end of the video. Why don't you? Why don't you actually hear my points instead of giving in to your bi very biased mind? Why don't you actually listen to my points? Okay. I used to be a loser kid. And I've explained this a lot of times on my channel. I used to go on my phone a ton. I used to play video games. I used to do a lot of bad habits, right? Including listening to music. And here's why I say that's a bad habit. I would listen to music for about four hours a day, keeping an AirPod, AirPod in, two AirPods in throughout the day. Like when I'm doing tasks, just mindlessly listening to music. When I took these earbuds out, do you know how I felt? I felt like shit because I was dopamine deprived. What do you get with music? You get dopamine. That's why we enjoy anything. It's because it delivers dopamine to you, right? So, if music delivers dopamine, just like how video games deliver dopamine, how porn delivers but dopamine, all things that we know from an objective standpoint are a bad habit. Things that elicit huge spikes of dopamine, all these things, anything that elicits a massive spike of dopamine that's outside of the regular human action is typically a bad habit. Well, music falls into that place. And when you stop listening to music, I'm sure that you have experienced this. You get off of music and just how you do video games, just how you do watching YouTube, the outside life seems very boring. And you don't really want to do anything after listening to music, do you? Especially this hardcore style of music. Like, by hardcore, I mean rap, metal, even pop. Basically, anything that isn't lo-fi, chill, or like weird tribal music. <laughs> Another point I, I need to make to you is that what are the affirmations that's getting put into your brain? When someone says that they want to fuck all these hoes, when they want to shoot an N-word, <laughs> when they want to do all these bad stuff, pull out my Glock, you know? I used to also listen to this kind of music. And how does that contribute to your mental health? Especially if you're listening to like this emo, dark metal music, like I want to kill myself. Well, what effect is that having on your brain? Now, keep in mind that this video is for those of us who want to take life seriously, right? We want to achieve something massive in our life. So if, if you want to work, like, if you want to be a normal person, I mean, obviously, keep listening to music if you want. Like, everyone listens to music. Like, li literally, if you're normal, then you listen to music. I'm talking to the people who aren't normal. The people who understand that the more they reduce their dopamine level, the more they reduce their dopamine intake, the more their dopamine level will rise. And the more their dopamine level will rise, the more their motivation will increase, and the more and the w easier it will be to achieve hard things. It will make hard things far easier. I'm sure that you've listened to that many times. You, you've heard that state statement many times. Like, taking away porn, taking away YouTube, taking away drugs, taking away high dopamine spikes, literally changes your mind so that you are happier, you are more productive, right? And the same, the exact same thing goes for music. 
you're achieving these extremely high dopamine spikes with music. Unless you're listening to like lo-fi, I mean, that kind of stuff's fine, like piano music. But if you're achieving these high dopamine spikes, listening to this insane music, like pop, metal, all these, all these stupid, stupid music songs. Well, what's going to happen as a result of that? I mean, you tell me with the evidence that I've told you. I, I saw someone comment on that video. Music is life. So how can you disregard it? I don't think I need to respond to that, actually. That's, that's kind of a stupid comment. <laughs> you know what? I don't know why I remember these, some of these comments. Like, you know, on that video, that's probably one of my favorite videos, actually. Stop listening to music now. I kind of enjoyed making that video because I knew that it was polarizing. I knew that many people wouldn't like it. I knew that it would challenge many people. And sadly, some people stayed in their ruts, will stay in their ruts. Sadly, some people will keep going to Spotify for four hours a day and keep getting dopamine spikes and then go back to their miserable lives. The people who don't listen to music, however, the people who are genuinely mindful of their current situation, the people who can take a deep breath and genuinely focus on it. Focus on it. Perfectly. Those kinds of people will be ha lead happy, fulfilling lives. And they'll be leaders. They'll be masculine role models. They'll have a deep projecting voice. Many people would like to be normal, and that's very fair. Many people enjoy super high dopamine spikes. Many people think that that's the key to happiness. The key to happiness is actually taking away these dopamine spikes, completely removing these dopamine spikes. Because when you completely remove dopamine spikes, well, your dopamine baseline just shoots up. And what happens as a result of that? Well, you're far more motivated. You can focus better. You have greater temptations for these things. Sure, it gets harder over time, but also, your production of everything just goes up and up and up and up. And I've experienced this firsthand. It's why I say that most people need to cut, like take out things from their daily routine before they add in things. Because you're going, you're like, you might even be doing some good habits, right? You might be going to the gym, but in the gym, you go on your phone a ton and it makes your workout go from one as it should have been to two hours. You go home, then you smoke weed and it takes away your productivity. Your productivity absolutely diminishes on weed. And I don't give a shit about what you say about that. It makes you have a creative mind. And then you do work and you listen to hardcore rap music and that significantly reduces your production of value. Then you try and go on a walk, but you can't go on a walk. So you can't go on a walk without outside stimulation. So you put in your earbuds and listen to an annoying podcast of people yelling at girls. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever been part of the manosphere. Then you come home and all these distractions just add it up. Just take away what you can provide to the world. All these things just lower, lower, lower your dopamine baseline. And it just brings such a negative effect to your life, not only in happiness and joyfulness of life, but also in your production, in your willingness to chase your goals. You've probably noticed that after participating in a high dopamine activity, you don't feel motivated at all afterwards to do anything in the real world. That is because when your dopamine spikes, again, your dopamine baseline falls, you are far less motivated to achieve anything else. 
So that was the video. Kind of went on a side tangent there about music and all that stuff. But if you like this video, then my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hopefully I can help you on this journey just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.